Did your parents have any idea what you were doing with your afternoons? <laughs> you know, I don't remember, man. I, I guess my luckiest thing is my parents were liberal enough to let me do what I was doing. I always had a job. I always worked. And I think they figured that I was a responsible kid and I was taking care of business. And as long as I did that, they let me do what I needed to do. Like if a swell came up, like a really big freak swell came up, I would ask my mom if I could cut school. I'd say, look, there's a really great swell. It's on Wednesday. Would you let me take school off to do that? And she'd say, let me see your grades. I'd sure go, all right, you can do that. And, and by giving me that freedom, I didn't want to screw up. I didn't want to be bad. I wanted like, you know, my parents are being good to me. They're, I'm going I'm to be cool about this stuff. So I kept my screw up stuff to a limit. My parents had absolutely no reason to believe that I wasn't wasting my life riding a skateboard. The neighbor kids' parents thought I was. There was one neighbor kid, in the, uh, the parent in the neighborhood said, I don't want you playing with that kid across the street because he's going to waste his life on that skateboard. But because at some point that no, must have shifted, right? But there was, yeah, there was no precedent to why a kid should spend time on this. It was a, considered a waste of time. But when I started making money, then it was looked at as, um, they were proud of me, but it's like, how is this possible? Right. I was making more than my parents at one point. And they yeah. were middle class people, both with jobs. And at one point I was making more than they were. I was 17 years old. Do you remember that conversation at the dinner table? Didn't have a conversation. It was just like, let me see the check you just got. And they'd look at it and go, I, I know they were wondering how long can this last? Right. And then I went to tour at Europe and I remember I got off the plane in England. We landed on the tarmac. They put the staircase up to the tarmac. I walked down the tarmac holding my skateboard in England. And there's photographers down at the bottom of the stairs waiting for me. Waiting for me. I'm a 17 year old kid and I'm being treated like a rock star in England. First time I've ever been outside of the country. Amazing. And um, they say, get on your skateboard, ride your skateboard. So I rode my skateboard down the tarmac and I got arrested. You got arrested? Yeah. So my parents the next day, Read in the LA Times, they open the paper up and there it says, you know, Stacy Prout, a you know, 17 year old skateboarder from America is rested, you know, getting off the plane in England. And that's, you know, my parents would see stuff like that and that's the stuff that would connect with them. They'd go, wow, this is really something.